Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm on the forum at tipsforpc.com and um, this main domain has a page rank of 4 and the forum has a page rank of 3. So people do want to get links on here and um, it's really hard to keep up with the moderation. But anyway, um, I've got a ban list and all that but I'm going to show you how to ban someone. Hopefully I'll find someone to ban. So I'm going to scroll down the page and um, what it is is you can have a signature with links as long as you've got over 20 valuable, um, you know, posts. Okay, so um, I don't mind if you put them in the um, signature area. I don't really like linking to um, other sites and stuff in here. Now if you if on my forum um, you'd have to be a well-known site to be linking in this part here. Now if I go down here um, see this one's got 86 posts and he's got a signature that's no problem. Um, keep going down okay this one's just got 20 and he's got his signature in there. Um, also sometimes you need to investigate um, pe whether people have been putting links in this area um, so I just open the, this in a new tab which is their username so go over so you're on their account here now by the way I am signed in as an administrator okay so you have to do that to do these kind of things so what I'm going to do is go show posts and this will show all the posts that this person has made. Now I'm just quickly running through them. I'm looking for very short um, posts like that so they can build up their um, post number or I'm looking for links in there as well. Now when I see these short ones I read them and if they're worth nothing I delete them. Um, Okay, sometimes they might have repeated themselves over and over. You need to look at that. Now, this this account seems to be okay. Okay, so I'm going to close this person and go back to where I was before. Okay, so this one is fine. I'm going to give it a tick of approval. Now, if I keep going down, no problem. No problem. Okay, here's a little bit of a problem. This person's got six posts and they've got a link there. So I'm going to um, right click and choose open in new tab. Okay, and I'm going to go down. We're going to have a look at this person's posts. Okay, so they've got a post here. They've got a link there. Okay. Um, looks like they've got some valuable information but they're still sticking the link in there okay there's another one another one another one okay so this person looks like a spammer okay it's very unfortunate probably a real person um, with some real information to share but they didn't follow the rules so I am going to ban this user now you've got a few choices here so what I'm going to do is see how it says actions here I'm going to right click on ban user and open in a new tab and then I'm going to right click on delete this count, account and open in a new tab okay so this is what I'm doing I'm dealing with this person right so I'll go down here and I've got a choice of what I want to ban so this person's just come from one IP address okay um, well actually they've got two IP addresses here but or oh, three all right so I put a ban on their IP address um, for some reason there's no host name in there so I don't I've never seen that one before so I can't put a ban on the host name because there isn't one uh, ban on the username okay tick that box and uh, I usually just tick these ones as well okay um, now if you have a look at these IP addresses in the honeypot um, oh, what's it called honeypot spam or something which is built into this forum at the moment 
um, it'll probably show that they're suspicious okay so I am going to ban that person I'm banning the IP address I'm saying they can never come again and I'm putting a full ban on it now you can also do a partial ban where they cannot post or something like that so they can um, so just say you did a partial ban and they couldn't post and you can make the ban expire in seven days say this is just in another example okay it, so the ban will be lifted in seven days and you also write a reason in there and tell them they're banned for seven days and if they improve their behavior they'll be allowed back in okay because sometimes you're getting rid of genuine people okay but this one here I don't have any tolerance for putting links in like that so this one's gone okay so I'm going to press add and the ban is there okay it's all listed now you can go back and modify it and take it away if you like if someone contacts you you know and says hey you've banned me from your forum well they can contact you if it's important right now I banned the person now I wanted to ban them first before deleting them because I want to make sure if I do delete the account I don't want them to be able to come back I still want their email banned and their IP address okay so that's why I put them on the ban list first now I'm going to delete the account because like I said I don't have any tolerance for this so the first thing you do is go here and press topics and posts okay so if they've started a topic or they've added to a conversation it's going to be taken away okay it's not going to affect anything else um, but if they did start a topic it's going to be deleted so you know okay so now I'm going to press on delete and it's going to come up with this box confirming it and I'm going to press OK and now I can come over here and press delete okay so that person's gone now okay so I can close the ban list close the delete and I'm back to where I was on their posts now just say I refresh this now this person doesn't exist anymore so their, their posts are not there okay so if I refresh this page this person will be gone all right I'll go down further everything looks okay here so that's what I do every now and then if I've missed a couple of days of moderation I'll come back and um, that's how I'll ban a user and delete the account all right thanks for watching